Hello, kids. It's nice to see you. Today, we are learning numbers and digits. Are you ready? Let's begin. We learned to count 0 to 120 in lesson 18. Do you notice all of these numbers are formed by number symbols which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To form number 1, we use number symbol 1. To form number 9, we use number symbol 9. To form number 10, we use number symbols 1 and 0. To form number 25, we use number symbols 2 and 5. To form number 87, we use number symbols 8 and 7. To form number 99, we use number symbol 9 and number symbol 9 again. To form number 120, we use number symbols 1, 2 and 0. Let me tell you, the number symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that we use to form numbers are called digits. So, we have 10 digits all together. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These digits are foundation to form any numbers. Numbers 0 to 9 are one digit numbers because they are formed by one digit. For example, number 5 is a one digit number because it's formed by one digit. The digit 5 Numbers 10 to 99 are two digit numbers because they are formed by two digits. For example, number 12 is a two digit number because it's formed by two digits. The digits 1 and 2. Number 88 is a two digit number because it's formed by two digits. Both are the digit 8. Numbers 100 to 120 are three digit numbers because they are formed by three digits. There are more other three digit numbers. You can try to find out other three digit numbers by yourself by carrying on counting after 120. Let's take some examples of three digit numbers. Number 104 is a three digit number because the number is formed 
by three digits. The digits one, zero, and four. Number one hundred and ten is a three-digit number because the number is formed by three digits. The digit one, the digit one again, and the digit zero. Are you confusing numbers and digits? Let's make it clear. Remember, we have ten digits altogether. These ten digits are used to form numbers. That is to say, numbers are formed from digits. Number one is formed by using the digit one itself. Number seven is formed by using the digit seven itself. Number seventeen is formed by using the digits one and seven. Number seventy-one is formed. By using the digits seven and one, number sixty-two is formed by using the digits six and two. Number twenty-six is formed by using the digits two and six. Now, can you tell the difference between? Numbers and digits. I'm sure you can. Let's have some practice. Task one: Color one-digit numbers red, two-digit numbers green, three-digit numbers purple. To do this task, pause this video to download and print the worksheet below. Then try to do it on your own. When you finish, replay the video to check the answers with me. Have you finished? Now check if you put the right color on the number. First, we have number one. This is a one-digit number, so let's color it red. Next, we have number twelve. This is a two-digit number, so let's color it green. Next, we have number nine. This is a one-digit number, so let's color it red. Next, we have number one hundred and ten. This is a three-digit number, so let's color it purple. Next, number thirty-seven. This is a two-digit number. Let's color it green. Next, number sixty-five. This is a two-digit number. Let's color it green. Next, number one hundred and three. This is a three-digit number. Let's color it purple. Next, number one hundred and fourteen. This is a three-digit number. Let's color it purple. Next, number eight. This is a one-digit number. Let's color it red. Next, number. 
72. This is a two-digit number. Let's color it green. Next, number 44. This is a two-digit number. Let's color it green. Next, number 96. This is a two-digit number. Let's color it green. Next, number 120. This is a three-digit number. Let's color it purple. The last one, number five. This is a one-digit number. Let's color it red. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Bye for now and see you soon.